In this video, we'll be going over adding, selecting, and deleting components. Now, to add components from the Components panel, there's three ways of doing it. We can, for example, click and drag a component to the price graph, and you would simply let go at the position where you'd like the component to be. We can also double click, and this will place the component in the center of the price graph. Again, we can move it. as well as we can right click on a specific component and then select add to price graph and this too will add the component to the price graph in the center of the graph so let's just move that let's just say I wanted this range here now once your components are plotted you can always make changes in this case I change the range I can for instance move this note here make an edit here and perhaps move this price label a bit closer. Now mouse tools are also available for some of the more common components and in some cases you may find that the mouse tools are more convenient than using the components panel. Now you'll notice here that there are shortcut keys. In the case of the Mac you'll find that it's shift command plus a letter and of course on a PC instead of the command you're going to have the control. So on the PC side, it would be the control shift plus the key. Okay, so in this case, let's uh, select channel. Now the channel tool in particular, it requires three mouse clicks. So the first click to place the component. Second click to finish the first line. And then the third click to place the second line and complete the channel. Now if we go back to the mouse tool, so let's draw two lines here. Let's draw one line from here as a trend line. And let's draw another line, let's say from here. Now if you want to select multiple components, you simply hold down the shift key while clicking on other components. The first component will have green resize points and is considered the primary component and the other components that are selected. So in this case, I'm going to click on shift and select this line here. will have blue resize points and those are considered secondary components. Selecting multiple components can be useful. For example, if you want to move them as a group, like this, or you can delete them as a group. If I were to hit the delete button, I would delete them as a group. And some of the components, such as trend lines or lines, have options from the right click menu. So if I were to right click my mouse, you'll notice in this case, I have under line, one of the options I have here is make lines parallel. So if I select that, it now makes the lines parallel. Again, I can move these anywhere I want. And now to delete components, deleting or removing a component from a chart is pretty straightforward. In this case, I have these two selected as a primary and a secondary. So if I click on the delete key, it'll remove them as a group. If I want to remove everything from the price graph, then it's simply a matter of just going under the edit, select all, and then click on the delete key. Now you can also click on the edit menu and select delete all and that will delete all your components from the price graph. For individual components, you can in addition to having them selected and then click the delete key, you can also right click and then under the edit menu select delete and that will delete it that way as well. Okay, so this wraps up this video and we'll see you in the next.